Welcome back to Glavswell and thanks for checking back in. Please hit that goddamn subscribe button and bell button if you haven't already. Well finally we can do a road trip around the state of Queensland. This ride takes us up to Bundaberg. We do about 1200 kilometres all up and take just over two and a half days. That's the Queensland portion there is. From Brisbane on the first day we head north up through Blackbutt then Ban Ban Springs, then Biggerton, and then into Bundaberg. Yes, that's right, the famous Bundaberg, the home of Bundaberg Rum, which, for those of you who know anything about alcohol, that's God's own nectar. Coming home, south, we head out through Gainda, Mundubra, and then head south down towards Dolby. God damn, that is one mother of a rough road. How rough, you ask? An acute prolapsed L3 disc and a pinch nerd rough, I say. Hope you enjoy this one. Well, this is Fernvale. First full week out of lockdown and look at all the bloody bikes. We're heading across the top of Wyvernhoe Dam. God, this place is always beautiful. Christ, we're coming up on a Russian Ural motorcycle and sidecar. So cool. We ended up seeing bucket loads during the day. They must have had a meeting somewhere. So we're at the Black Butt Bakery, um, still doing the social distancing thing, so it's a bit hard actually. They haven't put their chairs and tables out yet, unfortunately, so we're going to have to find a place to um, stake our claim. As I said, just bikes everywhere, have a go at this. This is the uh, first weekend of full re relaxation where we can travel as far as we like anywhere in the state. This is a bullet wagon where they used to haul the black butt timber via bullocks. Hard going I'd reckon.
heaven, Valhalla, whatever you want to call it, the Bundaberg Rum Distillery. We've reached it. Yeah. So Bundaberg and Sarsaparilla. We should get a couple of those to take with us for tonight. So as you can see from the previous footage we've, I've just shown you, I'm an avid Bundaberg rum drinker and have been since I was a kid. In fact, that's basically all I drink and all I've ever drunk. So I drink both Bundy here in Australia and also in our home in Thailand. Um, and these are the main sorts of Bundy uh, that I drink. This is Bundaberg Overproof, which I generally haul to Thailand because it's double the strength and double the amount of drinks. But my favourite drink on a general basis is this Bundaberg Black. It's the old Bundaberg Reserve. It's seven plus years old and it is as smooth and mellow as they come. Recently I've been drinking this Bundaberg Small Batch, um, which is one of their premium, premium rums. This one here is a vintage. This is very, very nice as well. But given we're in Bundaberg at the factory, I purchased this one here, the Solace. Uh, this is a very expensive rum. It's 180 bucks or, you know, for my Thai mates approaching 4,000 baht. Obviously, I'll keep this one here for some very uh, special occasion. Um, who knows what that's going to be, but I've lashed out. I've just read what it says about this. They reckon the longer you keep it, the better it gets. So I might let it age a bit. Love my Bundy. out of Bundaberg this fine beautiful morning very clear blue sky brilliant not sure what temperature what temperature oh a balmy 18 and a half degrees nice big days ride today probably seven plus hours in the saddle we'll see how we go going out back country roads pull up somewhere down the road here for a coffee not sure if we'll quite get to gain because I think it's about an hour and a half two hours so anyway see how we go Farmhouses here and there, 
believe this is going to be single lane all the way so they need to be careful of oncoming traffic little bits of overpassing areas like this one coming up it's typical Australian bush pretty dry out here very dry out here out of Dolby after a fuel up quite a big town these days Dolby regional town coming in the back way to Leyburn on the Leyburn Mill Marin Road. It's getting dark, it's only quarter past four in the afternoon but it's getting a bit dark and it's time to be very careful. Watch out for kangaroos because they have collected, as my mates know, they have stitched me up before. Ten grand's worth of damage on this very bike. just rolling into Warwick now and it's right on sunset it's five o'clock it's quite cool uh, cold in fact it's about uh, 16 17 degrees cold on a bike Warwick um, just spoke to the hotel bugger all open unfortunately so it's a little bit on the COVID thing still here where restaurants or anything aren't open just fast food sort of stuff so we'll see what we can get Nothing too flash, 110 bucks a night, more than need. Well, it's Tuesday morning, just heading out of Warwick. It's pretty cold, it was six degrees when we got up this morning. Um, heading for Cunningham's Gap, it's going to be cold up there, um, nice day so far, 
shouldn't ride on the way home, thank goodness. I'm riding over Cunningham's Gap. A few clouds up here, it's rained earlier this morning, which is ugly because it was four or five degrees. Very, as I've said on many videos before, very picturesque across the top here. This is of course the Great Dividing Range that divides east and west. Just got to the top, about to start heading down the other side. Beautiful views out to the left here which is back towards Brisbane. Need to be very careful of speed down here, there are coppers all over this area normally. This range was closed over Christmas or before Christmas for well over a month because of the bushfires. You can still see blackened trees here but recovering. guy in front, not the car directly in front but the one after, he's a bit excessive. Clearly speed zone 50 which is hard enough to go that slow down the hill, he wants to do 40. Occasionally up to 50 is a right royal pain in the ass. Overtaking lane coming up so hopefully the dude in front of me will get round him. At least allow me to get round him. Slow vehicles use left lane. Let's see what the motherfucker does. Yeah, he's gone into the left hand lane. Now it's my turn in the right hand lane. Oh, the fuck with sped up. They couldn't stick at the speed limit down. Yeah. Just coming along the Centenary Highway, which means I'm nearly home. Done just shy of 1200 k's thereabouts, I think. Two and a half day ride, great ride, a lot of roads haven't done before. Nothing in particular on the roads, just a ride's a ride on outback roads, single lane. Uh, away with friends. Many thanks to Lorn and Diana for coming up from New South Wales to do this ride. Looks like we've just beaten the rain. So that brings us to the close of another ride. Please remember friends, life is ever so short. Therefore, live life today.